Good morning to you. No madness out here. It is calm. What an office we have. Just uh, north of the Fraser, just off Point Grey. We are doing a little salmon fishing this morning on BT. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Beautiful view this morning. Yeah, the north arm of the Fraser, just off Point Grey, where it is a beautiful morning to do a little fishing. Jason, is this kind of the typical time people get out and do some fishing? Yeah, right about now. We usually get out here at about 7 o'clock. You can see there's quite a few boats out here this sure morning, are. and uh, looks like people are out here ready to go. So what is the salmon situation, as it were, right now? Well, there's a lot going on. So uh, we have a huge sockeye return this year. We're looking at maybe as many as 30 million sockeye, so we're going to start off with that. And there's quite a few Chinook around, too, so we'll probably do some Chinook fishing a little bit later on. And so commercial fishing is starting today and that's because of this great abundance of that's uh, fish right. that we so have, right? That's right. So 2010 we had a huge run, so this is the return from that and we're looking at one of the biggest sockeye runs in 100 years, so lots of opportunity for sports fishermen and commercial fishermen. Like the derby that is happening and you were saying that this weekend you're going to be actually fishing for Chinook as opposed to sockeye, but that's don't think, right. I'm just thinking like don't you just stick your like line in the water and they just eat whatever comes up or what? Well there's a few different <laughs> options, so we will be trying for some Chinook. Uh, this weekend we have the Labor Day Chinook Classic and we'll use anchovies and when we're fishing for sockeye they like these pink little lures called pink hoochies. All right, so you think we're going to catch some salmon today? Yeah, we're going to start off with some sockeye, and I, I think we're going to get a few. And yeah. we've got our proper licenses, Riaz, of course, for the derby. It's catch and release, but if I catch some salmon, I'm telling you, I'm not letting yeah. that baby yeah. go. Yeah, the plan's to send you home with some sockeye <laughs> fillets today, so we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I, you know, I, I, I'm hoping I got some skills, Riaz. For more details on the derby, you can, of course, check out their website. But look at tons of people out here right now. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Oh yeah, everyone's waving friendly group out here. She's making friends out on the water. She's got two hours for a prime catch. All right. Uh, here we go, stand by. News, right, Riaz? Magical moment. Dawn on the water with Woo! Pacific Angler Expeditions. Oh! 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 Well, that didn't work. Oh, yeah, and here it is. This is the prize. We figure this is, what, about 10, 10 pounds? Uh, maybe, yeah, 9, 10 pounds. 9, 10 pounds. As we go to break, watch as it happened just moments ago on breakfast television. Oh, yes, we are sockeye fishing today. Getting ready for the big derby this weekend. We'll be right back. Oh, exciting times today. Yeah, I don't know if it's that much of a challenge when you look at how many fish actually might be under there. Jason, what are we seeing right now? Well, that's a solid school of sockeye, basically from 50 down to, well, about 100 feet, probably a couple thousand fish underneath us. Just right under our right boat right now. Right underneath us right now. So if we're not catching anything this morning, we're not catching There's anything some, yeah, anytime. Yeah, that's right. If you're not catching them this morning, something's <laughs> wrong. This is probably the biggest school I've seen all summer, actually. Ooh, we you look around, luck. there's jumpers everywhere. So. There sure are. Uh, okay, let's talk through what we got sure. going here. So run us through this stuff here. Well, we have a couple flashers down underneath here already, and now what we're going to do is we're going to take this flasher, which has uh, the pink hoochie on there, so you can see that back there. It's called a pink hoochie? Pink hoochie, oh. yeah. I know, it's quite the name. <laughs> That's the pink hoochie, about a 28-inch leader. And then I'm going to pull this in, and this is called a release clip. So kind of like a clothespin, I'm going to put the line in there, and now I'm going to drop it down a few feet. And so how far, based on what we saw in the fish finder, how far are we dropping it before we think we might even get something? Well, we're seeing the fish at about 50 to 60 feet. So I have that line down. And then I'm actually gonna put on another line because just a moment ago, we had two fish on at once. So that's what we're trying to do here. Now for anyone that's going to the Derby this weekend, what kind of atmosphere is like that? How do people get involved? Well, what we want to do is uh, have a good derby where everyone can come out and have some fun and catch some Chinook. And the best way to sign up is to go to LaborNationAtClassic.com. And there's a bunch of information on the derby there. And you can figure out how to get signed up and have a chance at winning $25,000 in first and place prize. Fantastic. And that's a catch and release. But uh, again, we've all got our proper licenses there, um, Michelle. And uh, lots of traffic when it comes to the fish this morning. Here's hoping for a, another good solid catch. Yes, you bet. Check this out, check this out, guys. We got another fish. We're out here with Pacific Angler. We are getting ready for the big derby happening this weekend. What exactly is a derby? We'll tell you, but look at that baby boy. Wow, good morning on Breakfast Television. Yeah, another epic catch. Man, we just caught another sockeye. It is busy out here just north 
of the, uh, what is it, north arm of the Fraser. Okay, Max, you go ahead and get over there. We've been catching these fish like no yesterday. Yeah, it's been, an, it's been a good morning. That's for sure. Oh, fish on. Oh, another one. Hold on. Another one here. Okay, hang tight. Everybody hang tight. <laughs> this is what it's like for you every day, Jason. Oh, my goodness. So what's the key? We got to make. How do we make sure we don't lose this baby? Yeah, so put your put this hand up here. Okay. Yep. Yeah. And then you're gonna reel with that hand. So when he pulls hard, you let go oh, of I the can, reel. Okay. I feel him pulling yeah, hard. So let go a little bit. Yeah. Let go. He'll take some line. Okay. So the rods te will tell you what to do. No, oh, there he's pulling hard. So go again. Keep going. Yeah. Keep going. Keep your. Oh, let him go. Let him go. Oh, yeah. Like that. That's right. Okay. Keep your tip nice. There and is high. quite a strategy. How long have you been fishing for? Oh, since I was five, I've been guiding for probably like the last 23 years or so. Wow. Oh, fish on! Oh, another one here. Man, we're getting them all in here. Oh, look, huge jumper. It is crazy. Would this be one of the best spots to fish, do you think? Yeah, it's it's been pretty good. I'll let them run a little let bit. Let them run, okay. Yeah, there run. you go. Yeah. When do I start pulling on it again? When the rod slacks off. Oh, did oh, I lose them? I think I lost away. them. Ah, darn oh, it. I lost mine too. Uh, <laughs> see, trying to do too many things at once here. Hey, for anyone that doesn't know what a fishing derby is, what exactly is a fishing derby? Well, it's basically a fun event. There's usually some sort of entry fee and some prizes. So we have a catch and release derby. So this Saturday, the Labor Day Chinook Classic will be uh, fishing for Chinook salmon. These are sockeye. The Chinook are a lot bigger and first place prize is 25,000 bucks. So for someone like me who's having trouble holding on to one of these sockeyes, if I was to catch a, a Chinook, I might have to do some weightlifting or something. Yeah, the, a sockeye might take two or three minutes to get in, a Chinook maybe 20 or 30 minutes. So we, we'll, uh, we'll have to get you a little bit more warmed up on the sockeye before we get a Chinook. We're going to work on catching some more fish, uh, guys. We'll see you just right around celebrations. Hopefully we'll be doing a little more celebrating out here again on the water just north of Point Grey. By the way, they, you do charters, right? People can come we in and do, go fishing yeah. with you daily, or what's the deal? Daily, absolutely. And uh, the big fishing derby happening this weekend. Yeah, we have the Labor Day Chinook Classic Derby this uh, weekend. So uh, Biggest Chinook takes home $25,000 cash. That is cool. And just before we go back to Riaz at the station, how many fish do we figure we have under us right now? Oh, we were looking at the sounder earlier, uh, easily thousands. I mean, there's thousands and thousands of sockeye out here today. You've seen it. As soon as we put the lines down, we catch a fish, so it doesn't get any better. It is fantastic out here this morning. Riaz, you'll check back in with us at about quarter to nine. We hope to catch a few more fish. For more details on the derby, go to the website. But man, what a fun morning. Even Nelson caught one. Can you believe it? You go, Jason. Go, Jason. Oh, yeah, we got another one here. We're hanging out with Pacific Angler. We are fishing, getting ready for the big salmon derby the big fishing derby that's happening this weekend we got more fishing tips hey if you're just getting into fishing maybe the kids want to start picking this up Whoa. we got details on how you can do that stay with us you're watching bt hey lots of influence out here on the water jason we're seeing a tug right now that's going to create some pretty big waves for us coming up hey yeah we might have a little bit of a wake from that guy there all right so what are the kinds of things influence your success in fishing i mean i noticed you've been talking to max over there about slowing down speeding up that's right. Speed is speed is critical. You don't want to go too fast. So we're using flashers and they're rotating like this. Too fast is just too much for the sockeye. They like it nice and slow. And then we're also seeing the fish on our sounder. So we're seeing fish between 50 and uh, 70 feet. So we're using the downrigger with our ele electric counter to drop it down there. And so, we've been really lucky with them. Yeah, it's, it's been pretty good today. So if you got the right speed and the right lures and the right depth when there's this many fish around, you're going to have some good success. Now, if there's anyone out there that thinks, man, I'd love to go fishing and I'd love to try fishing or maybe take my kids fishing for the first time. But, you know, something like this is a bit is a bit of, a, of an investment, perhaps a bit more time involved, all that kind of stuff. Although the success rate makes it truly a great experience. Do you have any advice for any families out there that just want to get their kids fishing? Yeah, there's some great sites like GoFishBC.com. Uh, you can fish some local lakes. Come by Pacific Angler. You can get a spinning rod and reel for forty dollars. Take the kids up fishing, catch some trout. Just you know, ten to forty minutes from downtown Vancouver. And then you just need to make sure you have your license. How many fish can you actually catch and keep legally? Well, on this particular fishery, you can keep four salmon per day. Okay. A lot of places you're going to fish for trout, maybe a couple trout. So there's a lot of opportunity. And for people though that are going to be um, participating in the fishing derby, that is a catch and release. And how important is that catch and release program? Yeah, we've designed the derby that way. We want to let the we want to let the fish go, uh, especially the chinook. So we're able to take the length and the girth and figure out the weight, release the fish, and then the angler still has a chance to claim the prize. Fantastic! Someone's going home with twenty-five thousand dollars. More details on the derby. Check out their website. Thanks so much for having us out. And if you yeah, want to go fishing blast. with these guys, check them out right there uh, in Coal Harbor Pacific Angler. We're gonna take a break here on BT. Will this wonderful weather stick around? Oh, we got those details coming up next. Oh, and here come the waves. Here comes the wake. Oh yeah. We'll be right back.